Hi, Allison. Hi. <laughs> so one of our members uh, who also sees you, mm -hmm. um, I know was coming to see you for some low back pain mm -hmm. and you prescribed an exercise that we've been including in his warm up. Uh, I was hoping what you could do is just explain for uh, our audience today uh, what the exercise is, what it does, and how they might benefit from uh, doing something similar at home. For low back pain, oftentimes we want to mobilize the hips more. So this is a great hip mobility that you can do at the gym with a bench, or you can do it anywhere on the ground if that's comfortable for you. So Kirk is gonna demonstrate. The higher the back of the bench is, the easier it will be. So we're gonna show it at a relatively high position, which most people need to start. His lower leg is going to be in contact with the back of the bench. His foot is going to be on the seat. He can hold on for balance. And then he's going to be hinging at his hips. So can you just demonstrate what not hinging at the hips? So he's not rounding through the low back. So staying hinged at the hips, he is going to reach across, feel a stretch in the back of his hip. Then to come up, he is going to press his lower leg into the bench and that's gonna help propel him into an upright position. Good. And so you're saying this is gonna help mobilize the hip, which will take pressure off the low back. Yes. Okay. Yep. Excellent. Uh, so if you don't have a bench at home, what can people do uh, maybe at home to do this? So what we can do is a 90-90 position on the ground. I typically recommend using pillows or props to make you higher off the ground to make it so that your hips don't feel as tight and that you can actually move through this. It just gives you some leverage to get into the movement. He's going to be in what we call a 90-90 position and it's not rigid. You can be in this position and have your knees, this back knee closer to the front or you can have it further back. It's whatever's comfortable. You also typically want to make sure that you have something supporting this front knee. So putting a yoga block or other pillows here will be helpful. The same movement is going to happen. So he's going to be hinging at the hips. He's going to reach and then using the ground, he's going to push into the lower, into the lower leg, into the ground to help propel him up. And it feels great. Good. Awesome. So, Allison, thank you very much. Um, so just so you guys know, this is how, um, you know, Allison here is, has an office right in the gym. Uh, this is a great example of how we work together with our members uh, to that are having low back, knee, shoulder pain. It's great to have a resource like Allison nearby uh, that we can send our members to and customize their program to help them reach their goals. We also want to make sure that you guys have, you don't want to pause your membership for injury. We want to keep you in the gym. So being able to modify and give these warm up exercises is a really great way to keep you in the gym while you're dealing with an injury. Awesome. Thank you guys. Comment below if you have any questions and we'll talk to you soon.